In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the cross in SketchUp. Now, before we start, just a few reminders. To navigate around the screen, we've got the zoom, which is on our scroll wheel on our mouse. We can hold down the scroll wheel to orbit, and we can also hold down shift while holding the scroll wheel, and that will allow us to pan. We also need to make sure that our measurements are set to millimeters. So click on the icon down here, it's an eye inside a circle, so click on that. Go to length units and just make sure that you've got the same settings that I've got here. So millimeter, uh, zero millimeters, one millimeter. And then you can close that. Okay, we're gonna start by making the base. So I'm gonna use the rectangle tool, click, drag, and we're going to keep this guy for now because he can help us with scale at the start. So I'm going to just draw a small um, rectangular shape. <coughs> click once. Don't click again. Instead, just type in the measurements that you want. So we want 120. And you can see these measurements going in the bottom right-hand corner. 120, comma, 100, and tap Enter. And then it should snap to that size. You can then zoom in, use the orbit and the pan tool to get it into a good position, a good viewing position. Now I'm gonna use the push-pull tool and we're making this part out of plywood. It's 12 mil ply, so we need to raise that up. You can click once, but then immediately type 12 and enter and it should snap to that size. For now, what I want to do is make this a component and I'll come back to it later to add the extra details. So use the selection tool, drag over your um, component or your object, <coughs> right click over the top. It's no good right clicking over here. You need to right click over the top, make component and we'll call it base. Okay. I'm going to move that to the side for the moment, and I'm going to start to draw the cross stem. So, rectangle tool, click, and drop, and the base, the, the shape is 20 by 20. So, 20, 20, type that in, click enter, and it should snap to that size. Then use the push-pull tool, and the height of it is 150. So, type in 150, and tap enter. Okay, for the cross we used a, a cross halving joint, so we're actually going to cut out a section, we're going to cut out that halving joint here. So, use the rectangle tool and draw from the top corner another rectangle that is 40 by 20. So type 40, 20 and tap enter. And that just gives us the starting point, so I'm going to draw another rectangle underneath that is 20 by 20, 20 comma 20. And if you don't see the relevance of this now, you will very shortly. Okay, I wanna cut that section out, so I'm gonna use the push-pull tool, select this small face, click and drag that in halfway, and halfway is, of course, 10 millimeters. So I've typed in 10 and clicked enter. And now I can make this a component so I'm going to select over the whole thing with a selection tool, right click and select make component. And I'll call this the stem. All right, now we're going to do something here which will save us a little bit of time, but there are some things that we need to be aware of. I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to select this stem and drag it across. But as a drag, I'm just going to click on the control tab the control key and that's going to make a copy now it doesn't matter how you make a copy you can go edit paste edit copy edit paste or you can use control c and control v but you need to make that copy now the issue at the moment is that i want to change this shape but whatever i do to this shape with it whatever i do to this component it will do the same so i'll just show you i'm going to double click on this to start editing it, and if I try and change the shape of this, 
component, it will change the shape of both. So I need to do something here. I need to select it, right click, and I need to make it unique. So click on make unique, and now it will see it as a separate component. This is gonna be the cross bar. So I need to shorten this section so that it's the same length as this. So I'm gonna shorten this bit by 50. So I'm gonna um, double click. You can also select it, right click, and click on edit component. And look at the way everything else grays out. That's when you know you're in sort of editing mode for that component. Okay, push pull. Click on the base there, just at the bottom. Click, drag up, drop, and type in 50. And if you've put all your measurements in correctly so far, they should now be equal length. Okay, so this piece is gonna fit into here. So I need to rotate this. But to rotate it, there is a rotate tool, but I'm just gonna use the move tool. Now, when you select the move tool and hover over a component, you will see these small crosses appear and they allow you to rotate the object. So I want to rotate it this way first. And I'm gonna wait till that dashed line turns green. And then I need to spin this round. So I'm gonna select it on this side and I'm gonna turn it all the way around and get this line to this dashed line to turn blue. Okay. Now, I need to choose a, a, a point, like an anchor point, that will uh, match up with another anchor point. So, what I mean by that is, if I try and drag this over, it's going to be hard to get it into the exact position. But what SketchUp does is it will lock on to certain positions like a point or an edge or the middle of an edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this point and ma marry it up, match it up with this point here. So click and just snap it onto that point there. Makes it much easier. Those objects now, these two components are going to stay together. So I'm going to select over both of those and make it, not make it a component, but I'm going to make it a group. So make group, right click, make group. I now need to position this uh, on top of here. So I'm going to select it. The way I've drawn my base, I need to rotate the cross. So I'm going to grab this here, click, Rotate that round. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the cross right to the back here. I'm just going to click on that midpoint there. And I'm going to just drag that over. And match it with that midpoint. So I know that's right in the center now. And then I'm going to just grab that and slowly move that forward, keeping it on the green axis. Drop it, and this is gonna be 20 millimeters from the back. So just type in 20 and click OK. So that's in position now. That's exactly where I want it to be. Okay, now I've just grabbed, this is the tape measure tool, and I'm gonna make a mark that is halfway across here. So I'm gonna click and drag. So all the way would be 60. So I wanna take it halfway, which is 30. I'm just gonna type in 30, just to make sure it's right in the right position. And now I'm gonna add the T-Light holder. So I'm gonna put the circle in here. I need to and this happens all the time, I need to make sure that I'm actually editing the component. Right now I'm outside of it, so I need to right click, edit component, and see the way everything else grays out, and I can select that face. Okay, I'm gonna select the circle tool, and hover over this line until it finds the midpoint. Okay, what I might need to do here is hover over this line, find the midpoint, and then drag it along there. 
So I've now got the midpoint and I just need to drag out. And again, this circle is got a, has a diameter of, let's say it's, well, it's got a diameter of 40. So I'm gonna drag that out to 20 and I'll just type in 20 just to be sure. Now I want to use the push pull tool and drag that down. Now see the way this is still selected? All I need to do here is, is press escape because if I try and select this now, it will just move the other the part that's selected. So I need to press, es if it's selected, just press escape and it will let go of that selection. Make sure this has got the, the cross hatch effect. Drag that down by about five millimeters. So type five and enter. And that's, that's it really. Now we're just gonna add, we're gonna do a bit of rendering. We can get rid of this guy in the background. I've just tapped delete. And I want to get rid of my axis and any guides. So I'm gonna go over here, the little spectacles, delete all guides and deselect axis or axes. Okay, and then I'm gonna to go to this. This is for materials, this icon. Browse, and then I want to look for a timber effect. Scroll down, look for woods, and I'm gonna use this bottom right. All I need to do is just click on the components and that will add that effect. If you want to make the back, that's quite easy to do. The way I'm gonna do it is I will use what's already here as a guide. So I'm gonna use the back of this, just draw a rectangle. I'm gonna drag that out by about three millimeters, type three and enter. And then I'm gonna grab this face and drag that up and I'll probably just make it as high as the cross. So I've used the cross there to get that height. I can select the back, make sure I haven't selected anything else. Right click, make component and back. And I can always add a color to that. So let's have a look at colors and I don't know, purple. There we go. Finished.